This is a video preview of the KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible in dark brown from Christian Art Publishers. Spend time reading the Supergiant Print King James Version Bible in dark brown faux or imitation leather and immerse yourself in the Word of God using a Bible with a simple yet elegant design in a supremely easy to read Supergiant Print format. The dark brown faux leather cover of the Super Giant Print Bible features a simple heat debossed frame accented with a flowing leaf design. The title is gold foiled on the front cover with gold gilt page edges and an attached brown satin ribbon bookmark that enhanced the beauty of the simple yet elegant design. The spine is decorated with six decorative heat debossed faux spine ribs and also features the gold foil title and heat debossed version reference for the KJV. Top stitching around the edges of the Bible lends durability and strength to the binding and the lay flat binding style allows the Bible to fully open and stay open without damage or stress to the spine. With an easy-to-read size 17-point type and a double-column format, with footnote cross-references, words of Christ in red, thematic scripture verse finder, one-year Bible reading plan, concordance, and eight full-color annotated Bible maps, You'll find this Bible to be an excellent tool for study and easily readable without eye strain. The KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible in dark brown faux leather comes packaged in a sturdy hinged gift box. The decorative presentation page included in the front of the Bible can be completed when presenting this beautiful Bible as a gift. The elegant yet understated design of the KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible in dark brown faux leather makes this Bible an excellent choice for anyone who is modest in their style but needs an extra large print King James Bible at a fantastic price. The Bible itself is definitely nice. We're going to see that it's pretty and it's certainly more modern in this design uh, than in, in some of a somewhat of a departure from the typical same old black and burgundy color options that you'll see from yesteryear. Um, but they're calling this a dark brown, as you see the color there, faux or imitation leather cover. Faux or imitation leather cover, the same thing. Uh, they call this a flowing leaf cover design, and it's a heat debossed frame or heat debossed process. Uh, that debossing is referring to these little indentions. It's saying that this, this uh, design was stamped down or recessed into the cover material. And on the spine, we see uh, more of that leaf design and the fleur de lis there at the top. Holy Bible, KJV, the Christian Art Publishers logo there. And the binding, what we would also say is that uh, it's somewhat unremarkable in the sense that it's not an edge line binding, uh, but it is actually still quite remarkable in that it's surprisingly flexible uh, and seemingly decent quality for being a paste off style, and especially given its very low price point for super giant print. And what we mean by paste off style binding, and you've seen our other videos, of course, on some of our premium leather or KJV store published ones, is that this flap here on a paste off, that's truly just glued down. It's not actually going to uh, be tucked into that exterior cover and sewn into it or edge line in that sense. So uh, this just being uh, just, a, just a simple piece of paper here on the inside, definitely not as high of quality. Um, but again, the fact that it's still Smith or Smith sewn uh, means that it should have excellent longevity. And it is, again, surprisingly, it's still able to lay flat uh, even at some of the first books of the Bible here, such as Genesis. Size-wise, it's about 10.5 or 10.6 to be exact inches long on the longest side. Uh, then it's about a, showing here, about a 7 and a fourth, not quite 7.5 there uh, on the width. And then, of course, the, the thickness is going to be about, uh, about 1.5, a little less than 1.5 inch, uh, maybe 1.6 on, uh, on its thickest part there. 
As we get to the inside features here of the KJV Super Giant Print Reference Bible from Christian Art Publishers, it's important to note that it comes in seven different color variations. All feature the same faux leather covers or imitation leather cover style. Some are going to be thumb indexed while others are going to be non-indexed, but the inside features of each one will be exactly the same across all editions with faux leather covers, 17 point super giant print font, bottom of page cross references, and the same back of Bible features like the concordance and maps. The seven available colors as of the time of this video are dark brown, chestnut brown thumb indexed, tan, burgundy thumb indexed, gray thumb indexed, purple, and pink and gray thumb index. It's also rare that both non-index and index editions are available at the same price, as typically publishers charge more for indexed editions, which makes this an even greater value amongst KJV Supergiant print Bibles available in that you get seven different color options to choose from and indexed or non-indexed pages, all for the same extremely reasonable value price. The first thing you'll see in each edition is this presentation page. It can be filled out with your own name if this is your Bible, or filled out with the recipient's name if you plan on giving this as a gift. We've already seen the title page, Holy Bible, King James Version, Christian Art Publishers. Next is the copyright page, and then the epistle dedicatory, or translator's preface to King James. But before you know it, you get to the Old Testament and the first book of the Bible, the first book of Moses, called Genesis. And focusing here on Genesis 1, this is our first glimpse and example of that super giant print or extra large print size 17 font. We're going to see that the letters are tall, they're very large and bold on the page, and they're extremely easy to read. They should be visible even for someone with severe vision difficulties. And we're doing a full overhead shot here. There's no zoom at all. And again, you can still see just how large those letters are. We're also beginning to see our first glimpse of what's called the cross-references or footnote cross-reference guide. We'll take a slightly closer look at that. And here in a slightly closer shot at the bottom of Genesis chapter 1, we see that these cross-references or footnoted cross-reference guide are going to appear at the bottom of every page. They're somewhat concise or limited, meaning there are only a maximum of about 10 references per page on average. There's only nine here at the bottom of Genesis 1. Uh, hence, they're more of a guide than an exhaustive reference system. Uh, but one positive takeaway is that it makes this almost like a text-only edition Bible, essentially in that it has an uncluttered text. And this KJV Supergiant print Bible can be used as a text-only or reader-style Bible if you ignore the very bottoms of the pages. But how the references work is we're going to see there's no markings or anything within the text. It's just simple. You see that chapter 1, uh, and there's the bold 1, meaning that refers to Genesis 1, verse 1. And that we're going to see that the reference is going to be Hebrews 11, 3, and so on and so forth for verses 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 16, and 18. Uh, so, all the same, we're going to take a look at a couple examples of how these references work. So, we flipped here to the New Testament in the book of John. We're looking at chapter 3. We're going to take a closer look at verse 16. Of course, John 3, 16 are the most famous verses in the Bible. But we're also seeing a good example of the red letter text or the words of Christ in red. We're seeing that here on this two-page spread that the red text is well. Very clear, very dark on the page, the same size 17 super giant print font. Uh, but let's take a closer look here at verse 16 and then those cross references or footnoted reference guide and system at the bottom page. Zooming in, so John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we know, once again, we're looking at the text here, completely uncluttered, where most reference systems would have some sort of a, a letter or a number or potentially a marking, an asterisk, an arrow, etc. in the text. Not so in this KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible. The text is uncluttered. We know that the very simple and concise reference system or footnote cross-reference guide is going to appear at the bottom of the pages. So when we come to the end of reading a page, we can simply look down here and see, uh, again, there's a bold 23 that refers to 
uh, John chapter 2 and verse 23, which is the first verse appearing on the page. If we wanted to know the reference for that, we would see JN 3.2. That would be John 3.2. But then the rest of the references on this page are going to be for chapter 3. And we just read verse 16. So if we want to know, is there a reference for John 3.16 that we just read here? We look and see, and sure enough, there is a bold 16. And we're seeing that there is only one forward reference for each verse at the bottom, and that one specifically says R-O-M 5 colon 8. We know that stands for Romans 5 8. So if we want to read another verse, essentially, that's going to pertain to the same topic or theme of John 3 16, God loving the world and God giving his only begotten son, then the next verse we should read is Romans 5 8, and we're going to do that. We came from John 3.16. The reference at the bottom of the page was Romans 5.8. We've come here to Romans chapter 5, and we're looking at verse number 8. And Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Same theme. John 3.16, God gave his only begotten Son and died for us. Romans 5.8, Christ died for us. Same deal if we want to see the reference at the bottom of the page. If there is a reference pertaining to Romans 5 8, we need to consult the bottom of the page and we'll do that. And at the bottom of the page, there does happen to be a bold number 8, meaning there is a reference for Romans 5 verse 8, which we can still see in the frame just barely at the top of the page there. And we see that the next reference from Romans 5 8 is going to be John 15 13. We've come to John chapter 15, and we're seeing verse 13 at the top right-hand page. And John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. As we know by now, we would need to look for additional references to the verses we've just read at the bottom of the page. We read John 15, verse 13. We see here for verse 13, there is a reference, and that is John 10, 11. We came from John 15, 13. The next reference was John chapter 10 and verse number 11. In John 10, 11, great verse of the Bible, perhaps one of the most comforting verses of the Bible, right up there with Psalm 23, 1, says, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And conveniently in the same frame as we know by now, you want to know if there's a cross-reference related to that verse you read, you look at the reference guide and study guide at the bottom of the page. We're looking for the 11, for verse 11, and there we go. And the next reference is Isaiah 40, 11. And let's take a look at that one. It'll be the last one we look at. We've come from John chapter 10, verse 11, here to the book of Isaiah in chapter 40. We find Isaiah 40, verse 11 on the next page. And verse 11 says, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. So as we just read there, John 3, 16, God gave his only begotten son, i.e. Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8, Christ died for us. Romans 15, 13, no greater love than someone who lays down their life. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. And Isaiah 40, 11, he shall feed his flock. The shepherd, he will feed his flock like a shepherd. That is the power of the cross-referencing. That is an example of the cross-reference system here in the KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible. They're at the bottom of the pages when you need them. They're not in the text. They're not any kind of markings or anything within the text to distract you from the reading. They're there when you need them. If you don't or don't want to use them, you don't have to use them. Uh, but that's the beauty of this Bible. It keeps the focus on the text, the very large, size 17, super giant print font. As you can see, very bold and easy to read. But then it also shows you the Bible does work together. And this reference Bible, it still has that useful feature. Uh, it's no exception. It's not just a pretty font. It still does have that referencing study system uh, if you want to look and see what other verses uh, pertain to what you're reading. It helps to give greater continuity to the Bible, uh, and it's one of the beautiful things about uh, reading the King James Bible.
Last but not least, on any KJV store video preview, we always like to show the quality of the King James Version text that's being used. We're going to see that this specifically is a pure, trustworthy KJV Cambridge text here in this KJV Super Giant Print Reference Bible from Christian Art Publishers. And that brings us here very quickly to Genesis chapter 1, and we're going to look at verse number 2. And verse 2 says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Capital S in Spirit. We always like to see that. That is talking about the deity of the Holy Spirit of God. The next good verse to check brings us here to Acts and chapter number 11, and we're going to look at verse 28. Acts eleven twenty eight at the bottom of the page says, And there stood up one of them named Agabus, and signified by the... Spirit, that there should be great dearth throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. That capital S, S in Spirit, capitalized. We like seeing that here in Acts eleven twenty eight. Next, we see Second Timothy in chapter number three, verses sixteen and seventeen. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, throughly furnished unto all good works. T-H-R-O-U-G-H-L-Y, correct spelling that we like seeing here in this King James Bible. And finally, we come to 1 John chapter number 5 and verse 8. And 1 John 5, 8 says, And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. That capital S uh, in Spirit, that is capitalized. We like seeing that. That is also referring to the Holy Spirit of God, the same deity, the same Spirit that appeared in Genesis 1-2 and in Acts eleven twenty eight. We love seeing that. The red letter text appears all the way through the end of Revelation, then we get to the back of Bible features. So you can know that in addition to the ultra readable size 17 super giant print or extra large font and the usefulness of the cross reference system or bottom of page cross reference study guide, the helpful features still extend even to the back of the Bible, starting here with this verse finder. The thematic verse finder is eight pages in length and serves as a topical guide to help you find certain topics of scripture, such as courage or encouragement. Next is the one-year reading plan designed to help you read through the entire Bible in one year. It's a very basic plan. It just has you reading three chapters a day as opposed to a mix of Old Testament, New Testament, and Psalms like some other plans, but it is still designed to keep you organized. It does have a checkbox to help you keep your place, and is certainly worth using to Definitely read through your Bible in a year. Followed by a concordance, and this is definitely a concise concordance, about 30 pages in length, but a concordance is often the best friend to a King James Bible. It helps you find specific verses on other topics, such as Ark, or the Ark of the Covenant here, with an example being in Leviticus 16.2. You can find that in the concordance. And final back of the Bible feature are the full-color Oxford Bible Maps, there are eight maps in total. The full color design is bright and beautiful, and the illustrations on the maps are very clear and easy to read. So there you have it, friends and KJV Bible fans. KJV Supergiant Print Reference Bible in dark brown, faux or imitation leather from Christian Art Publishers. It has the heat debossed frame and climbing leaf border cover design in the dark brown faux leather cover, it's a flexible cover. It has the classic King James Version text. It's a full-size Bible with the gold foiled titles on the spine and the front cover. It has 1,806 gilded page edges. It comes with the presentation page, the epistle dedicatory to King James. It has a lay-flat Smith or Smythe sewn design. Very rare and amazing to find in such an economically priced Bible. It has the super giant print, extra large print, size 17 point typeface. It has the regular double column format with the footnoted cross-reference system at the bottom of the pages as we've seen extensively. It has the words of Christ in red in the New Testament. It comes with several back of the Bible features including the concordance, the thematic scripture verse finder, the one year Bible reading plan, 
eight full color Oxford Bible maps. It comes packaged in this nice full color printed hinged gift box with features on the back and it is in a manageable size for super giant print. As we like to say, don't just take our word for it. Here's what our customers have to say by way of several five-star reviews so far. This one entitled Father's Day by Diane P. states that the Bible was given to my dad for his day. He is a 94-year-old Assembly of God retired pastor and hasn't been able to read the Word for quite some time. He told me he was able to read God's Word on Sunday. He has his glasses and was using a magnifying glass and still unable to read his old Bible. So he loves it and so do I. It was truly a blessing and also a very beautiful Bible. Thanks so much. Next one says, Great Value from Tina D. She says, I really like this KJV Bible. The readability is easy on the eyes. The quality of the cover and also the inside are excellent. Great value for the price. Amen, Tina. Additionally, the next one says, Great Buy by David T. Says it's easy on the eyes. It is a good looking cover and well built and the print makes it easy for me to read longer. And then finally, from Diane S., it's how to love the large print, perfect. Says, I love the large print. It's perfect for tired, older eyes, as well as for reading from a podium. Letters in red, and it's KJV, perfect, exclamation mark. Shopping experience was excellent, and I am very happy. Sometimes our customers really do say it best. And as such, we hope you enjoyed this video preview of the KJV Super Giant Print Reference Bible in dark brown from the KJV store, the number one source for King James Version Bibles, where KJV happens to be our middle name. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to sending you your next KJV Bible soon.